Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, my name's Kenny. And with my wife Chrissy and our six children, we're converting this school bus into an RV for travel. In this video, we're gonna be showing you how we sealed the roof and put all the windows back in from the demo process. Unfortunately, the footage from the first coat of sealant I put on the roof got corrupted, so I no longer have that. So let me show you what we used to seal the roof with. This is what we put on the roof. This is some coating ready tape made by Dicor. One side's super sticky. Uh, the other side has, uh, it's almost like fabric on it. And we laid this over all the seams on the roof and the rivets and everything. And once all the seams were covered with this, we came back with Dicor metal RV roof coating. And we used three gallons of this stuff. Uh, one gallon coated the entire roof one time. So we put three coats on it, gallon each time. There was barely anything left in there after putting one coat on. This stuff coated everything really well. The roof is super bright and white. Now I'm gonna show you some footage of putting the second and third coats on the roof. All right guys, hopefully you can hear me back up here to do some more coating on the roof. It's really windy. First coat's dry. I think we're gonna do two more coats. First coat turned out pretty good. So let's get these other coats on. second coat of the sealants on my camera blew over twice one time it almost came off the top of the bus so I couldn't record anymore probably won't record the third coat either but I'll show you what it looks like when it's done the roof has three coats on it now Looks really nice. It's kind of hard to see it because sun setting. Maybe I'll come out in the morning and uh, give you a look when everything's bright. I purposely waited to do any touch up on the paint until I was done with the roof because I knew some of it may come down even though I had it taped off. There's still a couple spots where the white came down and got on the blue paint. Some of it touched that up as well as the other touch up spots. So bright it almost hurts my eyes. Turned out really well. How do you guys think the roof turned out? Let me know in the comments down below. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. After the roof was all sealed, we started working on cleaning the windows up, putting them back in, and resealing them as we put them back in. And this is how that went. Hey everybody, so we got all the windows taken out of the bus. We got them stacked up here. We're gonna take all the old sealant off, some of them already done, and then reseal them as we put them back in. And the weather was really nice for several days in a row, but when you know it, as soon as we got all the windows out of the bus, it's windy and chilly again, so just gotta make do with what we got. We're gonna deal with a little bit of chill in the air and get these windows put back in. First thing we're trying to do before we put the windows back in is to remove as much of the old sealant here as possible. So the new sealant will have a solid surface to adhere to. We already got rid of some of this previously. We have some pliers and uh, scrapers and chisels. We're working that out of there with. But as soon as we get that done, then we can start getting the windows back in. We got as much of the old sealant out as we could. And we also went through and painted inside the windows, the frames, blue like the outside of the bus. I wouldn't have really worried about it, but we could see the yellow from the outside on some of the windows. So I went ahead and just put a coat of paint in all those. That way when they're back in, you just see blue. 
the boys are out washing the windows getting them ready to put back in and I'm in here clean up this bottom area most of this you're not gonna be able to see anyway it's gonna be behind other stuff but it was pretty bad from when I was cleaning all the rust off the floor and everything Let's see if I can you can kind of see there it's been partly cleaned there not clean at all it's uh got pretty dirty and here's the other side it's not done at all yet so got some work to do on that hey we're finally getting the windows put back in it's been a long process of taking them out to do things putting them back in because it's going to rain you know, it's back and forth and finally we're actually getting them put back in got one side in the other side i have to wait till tomorrow and now i have this Dynatron seam sealer. I'm going to go around the seams of all the windows on this side that I have in, just to give them a layer of protection from the water. So that's what we're gonna do, and then we'll finish up the other side tomorrow or the next day. Hey everybody, we're back. We got this side all done. Windows are all put back in and sealed now working on this side have to get all these back in it's gonna take too long i think the other day the other night it took about an hour and a half to get all the windows back in and sealed gotta get started though what we're doing is we have rolls of this, this butyl tape and um we are we're taking some of it and packing it in the corners of the windows the frame on each side and then running a strip of it across the bottom of the window the window frame meets the frame of the bus making sure it's lined up on there real nice peeling the paper backing off some of these windows the gap between the window frame and the frame of the bus is a little thicker so i'm putting two strips of beetle tape just to fill up any gaps so water can't get in and after we get it in the bottom just pushing it in and my tripod broke so it's hard to film and do this but i'll show you in a second putting these screws and washers back in to hold it in place i'll just put the screws back in <clears throat> one side at a time because the next window has to go in and then this screw and washer will hold in this window and this window. And then once those are all in, then we'll go to the outside and put some sealant around the outside of the window for added protection. All the windows are now put back in both sides. Everything's all sealed up. So I can build on the inside, no matter what the weather's like outside. It's been actually a big struggle trying to work around the weather it's been raining a lot uh, when it's not raining it's cold the windows aren't in it's just been uh it's been a journey to get to this point but it's all sealed up so can do all the work on the inside without waiting around no matter what the weather's like now the roof is coated with new sealant all the windows are back in and sealed so it's the next day and it's been raining all day. I think we're supposed to get one to two inches of rain today. And we found some leaks. It's not necessarily a bad thing. It's actually a good thing because the bus is still completely empty. So it gives me an opportunity to mark where all the leaks are. And then in a couple days when everything's dried up, I can go back through and seal up any areas that are leaking. One area that's leaking is right here on the roof hatch. I know exactly where it's coming from when I was up there. This. This screw holding the roof hatch in, it was a little loose. So I know exactly how to fix that, that leak. So that's one spot it's leaking, it's not even leaking real bad. And there's a couple areas where the windows are leaking, I'm putting those back in. But like I said, that's a good thing because now before anything's in here, we know where the leaks are. We can go back through and seal everything up. That way it's good to go. I just think that's better than having everything in here built out and then having stuff getting wet from all the leaks. If you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. It really helps us out. And if you're new here, consider subscribing so you can follow along as we finish out our schoolie build. 
We'll also link a playlist to all of our Scully build videos right there. Till next time.